Okay people, this is himself, and in this video I'm going to talk about Tombstone. I'm going to show you the setups for this, the OK, and why this draw is potentially better than Giant Swing. What I'm also going to show you is a tech roll trap related to this subject, so stick around for that. So for anyone unfamiliar with Tombstone, this is a 2 throw and it does 58 damage. And that makes it a serious mix up for Giant Swing, because you have a different break and similar damage. After landing it, the opponent is face up feet away, and we get some OK options but my preferred choices are either F plus 2, DF2 or D3. F plus 2 will hit back rollers and get up kicks, DF2 will hit standards and D3 will hit side rolls or grounded. Now some of you might be asking why I don't suggest F plus 2 1 and the reason for this is that against standards the second hit can be ducked. So what you need to do is to discourage them from this by mixing up the 1 with down plus 1. If the down plus 1 hits then you can hit confirm the 2 for a launch. If however you know they're going to back roll, then F plus 2 1 is the best choice. It does 37 damage and it gets you a knockdown. Against standards, DF2 only gets you 12 damage because the 1 can be ducked, but what you can do is giant swing. If you just do the regular command, then you're not going to have enough range, but what you can do is forward, forward, half circle forward, and that solves the problem. D3 only does 9 points of damage on the ground, so people might just decide to take the hit. But if you get a hard read, then your best option is ground throws. The problem though is that you can't just input the command because you'll miss. So what you have to do is hold forward during the recovery animation, wait till King takes a step forward and then do it. Now almost no one is going to get up kick here because there's just so much potential to be interrupted. But if you get a hard read, then your best option is hop knee. Also if you get them with DF2 here, it'll be on count hit so you can combo off that as well. I've actually done a video showing you my preferred ender, so if you want to check it out, there's a card in the corner and a link in the comments. So with Tombstone being his strongest 2 throw, how can we set it up? Well, it doesn't have the same range as Giant Swing, but most of the setups for that also work here. My personal favourite though is at the wall, and what I like to do is follow it from chest bump. On block you're at plus 3, so the Tombstone can't be interrupted, and most people will probably be expecting Execution Drop, which is a different break. The added benefit at the wall is that your OK is better. Almost no one is going to back roll because they're not going to get away, but if someone's stupid enough to do that, then F plus 2 1 will splat them. What that leaves is standing up and side rolling. And against side rolling, your best options are D3 and ground throw again. But against standards, DF2 becomes way more dangerous. The reason for this is that on hit, they hit the wall, and that stops them from ducking. So the 1 becomes guaranteed, and from there you can easily do 50 damage. The most consistent juggle I found was ending with F plus 2 1, but if you want to put them back near the wall, you can finish with the air throw. Also against some of the large characters, you can actually get a tailspin with 1 plus 2 3, or go for the heel hold. And if you have the balcony, you might be able to get a burning knuckle here. I haven't fully tested it myself, but I got it to work by tapping forward just after the tailspin. So the last section of this video is going to talk about floor breaks and this is what's going to lead into that tech roll trap. As most of you already know, Tombstone breaks the floor and you can get 80 damage off it. In Season 1 the filler was DF43, but in Season 2 the damage for 2 on was buffed, so that's what you should be using. What you can also do is end with a burning knuckle here. But what I really want to talk about here is floor break at the wall. In this situation they land face at feet away and that means you don't get good wall combos. The most damaging true combo I could find was back plus 1 2, which only takes your damage to 72. An alternative is back plus 4. This is 70 damage, which is 2 points less, but it does give you a back turn to mix up. A third option is DF1. This pins them to the floor so they can't tech roll, and the face up feet away so an alley kick is guaranteed. If it hits on the ground, your total damage is 72, but if it hits them standing, then it's 79. However, there is something more dangerous here. It's Black Bomb. On its own, this is 69 damage, which is not that different from DF1. But what makes it special is that if they do anything but hold back, a ground throw attempt or people's elbow is guaranteed, and that takes your damage up to 88. The reason for this is that in Season 2, Black Bomb was tweaked. They made it so that in the air, you get this flip over, and they can't tech roll. The only way they can get up quickly is to hold back. But at the wall, 
Doing that seems like the wrong thing to do. Even if they do do that, people's elbow is safe and the ground throw becomes a standing throw. And on top of that, Black Bomb is so rarely used as a combo ender that so few people are aware of this property. So the chances of someone actually escaping this is pretty slim. What I also want to mention is that if they don't back roll, Rage Drive is also guaranteed. And that thing guarantees a jumping elbow, so your total damage is over 100. So putting all that together, I seriously think that Tombstone is in some ways better than Giant Swing. It's not as fast, it doesn't have the same range, and it can't come out of crouch. But you have Oki and you have Floor Break combos, and if you think about it, you only need 3 of these to win a round. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this, if you did, then give me a thumbs up. If you think I've missed something out or got something wrong, then say so in the comments. There's more King content to come, so keep your eyes peeled for that, and I'll see you guys in the future.